Hello everybody and welcome again to Tutorials Point. Well, a lot of practice we have done for your upcoming interviews and I'm sure you're pretty confident now that you're going to crack them all. Well, even I am sure of it. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about something really, really interesting and probably something that might as well surprise you. Well, here is the question. Which animal would you want to be? So don't be surprised if this question comes your way in your next interview because you never know what the interviewer wants to know about you. So this question might just, just kind of, you know, sound odd or look odd, but it might come your way while you are facing your interview. And in this video, we will precisely discuss as to what is the significance of this question and which animal defines what kind of a personality type and which animal suits your personality the most. Let's go ahead. Okay, now, first of all, the, uh, you know, the most important thing which you need to keep clear in your mind is when the interviewer wants or, or you know, is asking you this question, he or she precisely wants to know as to what is the kind of personality or or what is the kind of role that you would fit in the best, right? Because, see, interview is probably, a, you know, a discussion of, of 15 minutes or 20 minutes or maybe half an hour, right? And in that half an hour, it is very tough to, um, you know, kind of judge the person or, or to kind of figure out whether that person would be a right fit in a particular job role or not. So it is a very, very tough task which the interviewer has to accomplish. And because they have to be very, very accurate um, in the choices that they've made, because they cannot, of course, afford to recruit any, you know, any person who is not the right fit for the organization. So it is a very tough and a daunting task for them. So because it is a tough task and and of course, every person who goes to face an interview would be prepared. And now to actually know the basic or to know the most honest or to know the person who is interviewing in his or most candid form is a tough task for the interviewer. And to accomplish that, you know, these are the questions which they would end up asking you because they want to know what is your personality type so that they can actually group you in a job role according to the kind of person that you are according to your capabilities, right? So, which is why now you are faced with this question. So, first of all, be very, very, um, you know, kind of very, very relaxed and happy that the interviewer somewhere uh, sees you a fit for that particular organization. So, which is why he or she has asked you this question. Now, when this question comes your way, what does it actually mean? Or, or what is it that different personality types or, or what type of animal indicates which kind of a personality type, right? So, first of all, let's start with an owl. So, what actually what is this kind of a personality type so analytical thoughtful individuals who prefer to work alone and are often ill at ease in a social situation so these are the kind of people the you know just in case your choice is an owl so understand you know that you are a person who would fit an in an analytical role much much better than anything else right so a person who so owl indicates a kind of an individual who fits more into analysis and would be probably more successful in an individual contributor role rather than a, a team contribution kind of stuff. So now the interviewer knows what is the right fit for you in that particular organization and you accordingly would be, um, you know, given that kind of job to do. Okay, what do foxes indicate? Well. So people who end up choosing fox as, you know, as I mean, who end up giving like which when they were asked with this question, which animal would you want to be? And they end up saying fox. So what is their personality type? So people who choose fox, they have a very dramatic, charismatic, active, spontaneous, fun personality, right? So they make great salesmen. 
and can be wonderful friends if you are looking for a good time. So now you know any person who chooses Fox in the interview would be the best choice in sales job. Yes, that's right. So because Foxes indicate, you know, Fox indicates a personality of a person who is very active, spontaneous, mixes up very quickly and is kind of, you know, fun to hang out with so such kind of people fit the best in salesmen uh, in in a, in a sales job right so now now you know which animal you have to choose i mean basis the kind of interview that you are appearing for okay lion well what does lion indicate it indicates independent and logical thinkers who are also persuasive leaders right so business minded and ambitious are such people so lion actually if your first choice is lion well just get this thing very clear in your mind that you have you definitely would chisel out to be a very good leader and you are a very ambitious and a business minded person so probably that is the kind of um, you know job role which is fit for you okay how about a deer well quite observant and thoughtful and they are interested in maintaining order and harmony so if deer is your choice probably you are the most peaceful person or you are you are that kind of a person who definitely doesn't want to you know create any controversies around would probably prefer a peaceful and harmonious environment in the you know at their workplace so that is the personality type that deer indicates so definitely um you know who doesn't want a person who stays away from controversies and does not create any ruckus at their workplace so Deer is well a very good choice you might want to choose it of course along with anything else that you feel fits in the right kind of category basis your job profile okay how about a cat well there are many many cat lovers and i'm sure when uh, you know asked for what kind of animal which animal would you want to be i'm sure many people would choose a cat now what is that what does a cat personality indicate so they are quite they are analytical they are often drawn towards the field of engineering they are explorers right so they love adventure they love to experiment they love to explore and they become bored very quickly with a single routine so if the person who uh, you know who is any person who's in your who's your teammate or any person whom uh, you know the interviewer is recruiting and he or she ends up choosing a cat well then just be prepared that after every small span of time your job profile might just change the role that you are doing might just change because now the interviewer knows that because you've chosen a cat as the person as the animal that you want to be so definitely you will get bored very quickly of same kind of a routine okay how about a dolphin well dolphin again is a very very attractive choice so creative and contagiously happy yes that is very right so they are very very happy full of life enthusiastic people who just create a lot of energy wherever they go so again they tend to get bored with the same kind of work time and again so if you've choose a chosen dolphin for your i mean for this answer well then just be prepared that there's going to be a constant change in the kind of work that you do okay how about a dog well i am sure many many people seeing this video would definitely be dog lovers so what does this personality type indicate it indicates actually dogs are social butterflies right so they are the, they are so this personality type people who have such kind of a personality are the people who definitely enjoy socializing way too much right so social butterflies who are cheerleaders and supporters of a wide variety of friends right and acquaintances of course so just be prepared any person who chooses this as his or her own personality type will definitely be a person who loves to socialize and definitely they are very loyal kind of people you can expect quite a lot of loyalty out of them so as i told you they are loyal 
and in return they definitely expect a lot of loyalty from you as well right so think of them as the living embodiment of a team player so they would make amazing teammates and they are the kind of people who would be very very loyal and not just would they be loyal themselves they also expect you to be equally loyal towards them so beware of this kind of a personality if it is coming your way so well these were a few personality types which you can choose based on the job role that you have applied for and not just that do remember that if you're choosing a particular you know personality type it should also kind of be in sync with the answers that you've already given otherwise it definitely is going to sound rigged right it definitely would sound very very fake because then the interviewer knows because see the way you're going to answer the questions which the interviewer has asked you before or after this would also portray a certain type of personality that you have right and now basis that if you choose a particular personality type here that should also both these you know answers should be hand in hand they should be in sync otherwise well it might just sound fake which you definitely don't want to or for that matter it might also sound that you're a person who's not as clear about the kind of personality that you have which of course you don't want to portray during the time when you give your interview well friends these were a few personality types and the best answer that you can choose based on the job that you applied for so friends all the very best for your interview i am sure it's going to be great i'm sure you're going to be very very successful we will see you again in the next video till that time keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials have a good day